Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to fill up a column in Excel with uh, a lot of, of uh, entries, 100,000 random numbers. So I want to fill in the, uh, the rows in column A, the rows from 1 to 100,000 with random numbers. Uh, with a uniform distribution over 0 to 1. So there's an Excel function that generates that particular uh, type of random number. And um, we, we've discussed how to fill up a whole uh, section of a column uh, by dragging the cursor. Uh, but if we have a lot of cells to fill, dragging the cursor um, can be difficult. So I'm going to show you how we can fill in a lot of cells uh, in a way that doesn't involve dragging the cursor. Then after doing that, I want to look at how we can generate histograms using the frequency function in Excel. And so let's get started. So first off, I want to fill in column A going from 1 all the way down to 100,000 with uh, random numbers. So I'm going to begin uh, by clicking on, on A1. Now let's see, let me, uh, let me expand this out a little bit. So I'll, I'll go to View and then I'll go to Zoom 200%. There we go. So now back to A, A1, I want to put equals R-A-N-D, and that's the RAND function, and then an open close parentheses there appears, and hit return. So that generates a random number that has a distribution uniform between 0 and 1. And I want to fill in 100,000 elements there in uh, column A with uh, such random numbers. So in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is click on column A, uh, cell A1, and copy. And that'll copy the formula that's in cell A1. There we go. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Uh, let me put that back in. There we go. It's RAND. Now I'm going to do uh, to copy what's in that cell. There we go. Now, to select the first 100,000 random numbers, how are we going to do that? And um, so let me try um, right up here in this uh, box. This is the box that indicates the cell that's being selected. And right now it says A1 because that's the cell that we've selected. So I'm going to put A1. Now I'm going to put colon A again. And I don't need to put an uppercase. It'll automatically fix it to be uppercase when I hit return. And A100000, A100,000, hit return. So now these first 100,000 rows are selected. And now what I've already copied the function that was in A1. And what I want to do now is paste that same function in all these cells. So to do that, I'm just going to do the paste command right here, and that fills in all these 100,000 cells with uh, random numbers. Okay, now that we've done that, let's look at how we can compute the histogram to see, uh, uh, indeed, if that looks like it's a, those numbers are from a uniform distribution over the interval 0, 1. So to do a histogram, I'm going to use the frequency function in Excel. And the frequency function is an array function, which adds a few extra complications. These are complications that, that always mess me up if I haven't used the frequency function in a while. And uh, so let's do this. Okay. Now, to do the histogram, first I'm going to set up the bins for the histogram. So I'm going to put the first bin goes from uh, 0 to 0.1. So I'll put in 0.1 right here, 0.1. Now, actually, the first bin will go from negative infinity to 0.1. But since all of these numbers here 
can't be any smaller than zero. They can't have any negative numbers. It's going from zero to point one. Now I click here, I do point two, and then return. So now I have 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So I click, shift click. I'm going to drag this down until I get to 1 is the number. You see the little number appearing to the right and below there. So these are going to be my bins. So um, now what I want to do is count all the random numbers that lie between 0 and 0.1. And now those numbers will go right in here. Then all the numbers that lie between 0.1 and 0.2, those will go here. Between 0.2 and 0.3, those will go here. And then all the way down here, um, this is the last bin, goes between 0.9 uh, and 1. So how are we going to fill that in with those numbers? That's going to look at all of these 100,000 random numbers and do that. But uh, to begin with, I'm not going to look at all 100,000 random numbers. I'm going to look at all, I'm going to look at the first 1,000 random numbers. So when we use an array function, the first thing I want to do is select all the cells that are going to be in the entire array. And all those cells will be these cells right here. So I shift here, then shift click down here, and that selects all of those cells. Now, uh, I'm just going to type equal and then start typing frequency. So I put F, R, E, and you see frequency starts to appear. So I just click there. And I have open, close parentheses. Now, as you see, this is telling me what the format of the frequency function looks like. So first I'm putting in the data array. A data array is going to go from A1 colon and I'm going to go up to A1000. So the first 1,000 elements are going to go right there. I'm going to hit a comma. Now it wants the bins. The bins are going to be these elements in row B. So the bins are going from B1. Now I can click here and then um, put a colon or just shift click. Let me try just shift clicking, shift clicking one here. So it automatically puts the colon in B100 and also puts the ending uh, parenthesis. Now, now, normally all of my instincts are telling me just hit return, but on a frequency function, if I just hit return, that's not going to work. I have to, sh I'm going to have to hit simultaneously shift control return and then that does it. If I just hit return I'm only going to get this one number right here. So to fill in the frequency function I have to hit shift control return. So that fills in. So here in the first 1000 random numbers generated in column A I have 94 in the first bin, 103 in the second bin, 101 in the third bin and so on. So this is the histogram of those first thousand numbers. Now let me generate a graph of that just to show you what that looks like. I'm going to go up here, click on insert. And then I have uh, recommended charts. Let's look at that and I'll do this one right here, clustered column right there. So there we go. This is my chart that plots the histogram of the first 1,000 elements. And um, if you've uh, talked about histograms in, in statistics or probability, uh, that, uh, that looks right. OK, so that's that histogram. Now, let me leave this here. Let me, uh, let me move it over to the right a little bit here. Yeah, a little bit over like that. Now, uh, let me, instead of the first 1,000, let me do the first 10,000. Now, what I'm going to want to do here is take all the elements here and copy, copy them over to D. So let's, let me do that. I'm going to say over here, I click on D1. I put equal, and then I'm going to put equal this. So it'll equal, it carries whatever number is in B1 and 
and carries it over and puts it in D1. Now I click here and then I can drag this down. So if I do that, I didn't drag it down far enough there, that uh, puts all those bin numbers in there. I'm doing that to, to make my next step easier when I'm going to want to generate another histogram and, and just graph it out. Okay, so now I'm going to do frequency again. So I put equals and then uh, oh, I forgot. You see, I already made a mistake. I forgot to select all of these cells here that are going to be in the array used by the frequency function. Now I type equals F-R-E-Q for frequency there. Now I'm going to put A1 colon A10,000. A, you know, one zero 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 zero, and then comma, and then my, these are going to be my bin elements, although I could have picked the B again. Now let me pick D. So this is going to go D1 to D10 colon D10. And now I'm going to have to hit shift control return. Now this is my new uh, histogram for the first 10,000 elements. So let me graph that out. So there I hit select all of those with a click here and a shift click down here. Then I go into insert and I'll do a recommended chart and I'll do this one right here. And um, well, you might look at this and you say, wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, this uh, is, really has a strong curve to it. And uh, the reason is, if you look at the bottom element here, is 800, and not zero. So this is actually goes. This is 900. So it's going 900 up to here, which is almost 1,050, but not quite. So this is now my histogram, and it's ranging over um, just over. 900, 906, up to almost 1,050 right here. Uh, and um, I can go into charts if I want to, and uh, you might want to do that. Look in to see how you're going to set, if you wanted to, how would you set this low element here on the y-axis to be 0 instead of 800. So I'll leave that open for right now. You can look at it if you want. Now, um, Next thing I want to do is compute the histogram for all 10,000, uh, I'm sorry, all 100,000 numbers. So let me take this again and, and uh, uh, just copy and paste. So I'll select them all, copy, and go over here and paste, just like that. Now I look in here, you see this is just taking putting what's in F1, what what was in D1. So that's just doing what I did over here a few minutes ago in a different way. Now I'll put the frequency function again in right here. So I'll put, first I have to select all of these cells. I put equals frequency, FR, there it is, it pops up. Frequency, I'm going to do A1 colon A100,000, A, one zero 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 uh, comma and then I'll do here to here and now uh, instead of hitting return I hit shift control return and now it fills in all of these elements here now let me do a graph of that <clears throat> and um, so I'm going to Select, shift click, insert, recommended charts right here. There we go. So this is giving me my histogram of those 100,000 elements. Notice that the bottom element here is 960. Okay, so 
Although, because uh, this is an expanded view of just the top section of this graph, it might be a little, a little difficult to tell as these, as these charts are presented. But these charts are getting flatter and flatter and flatter as we get more and more elements um, in that. Uh, this is, notice that the lowest uh, chart element is, all, is uh, above 9,800. That would be um, 98 over here. 98 over here would be very, very close to 100 here. So if we plotted this starting at zero, you would see that this set of bars is a lot flatter than this set of bars and a lot flatter than this set of bars. What, what is happening there is we're seeing the law of large numbers begin to kick in. So as we get more and more random numbers and start plotting these histograms, the, uh, the histograms begin to look more like the ideal theoretical uh, distribution. They begin to look like the, the theoretical distribution for a random number uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. And then, uh, so, uh, and that's the law of large numbers, which says as we do more and more and more random experiments, that uh, the results that we get uh, begin to match to a greater and greater extent uh, the theoretical results, uh, which is why if we go to a casino, go to Las Vegas, go to Macau, wherever, we go there and we start gambling, and if you place a zillion small bets, you're almost guaranteed to come away a loser because the law of large numbers says that all the odds are in the favor of the casino. So uh, this is, uh, these charts uh, are beginning to illustrate the effects of the law of large numbers on doing these calculations. And uh, so uh, now I will uh, finish this video right here. Uh, and uh, you might want to go in and look at how you can set the range of y values in, uh, in a chart. How might you do that? Well, I've talked before about right-clicking, formatting plot area. Maybe you should do it there. Uh, I don't remember exactly how uh, what the best place to do it is. <clears throat> I don't think we want to do actually a forma format. Format is just picking the color and 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 uh, type, style, and so on. But there's got to be some way of doing that. Okay, so with that, I'll see you next time.